finishing on Skylander again. Okay. okay. Wow, amazing. There's so many Skylanders flying in the sky. Actually, there are more than 1 million people joining this festival every year. No wonder it is one of the best festivals in the world. It is the glory of Taiwan. Yeah, the pride of Taiwan. Hey, what are you guys doing there? We are making wishes on the Sky Lantern. Yeah, it's a typical size of Sky Lantern. Oh, we're gonna finish it soon. Yeah, wait. We still have to make a short briefing of our project. Oh, flying wonders. Yeah, Sky Lantern Sleeping Sheep. So our project is divided into six parts. First, we'll be talking about our motivation and purpose. Then the counterparts of Sky Lantern Festival. Also, the origin of Sky Lanterns. That will be followed by the culture of Sky Lantern Festival. After that, we will show you our astra experiences in Pingxi. Last but not least, are our conclusion. Let the motivation and purpose of our project. Well, there's a famous website called the Photos Travel. It talks about the 15 festival that we must visit before we die. And the Sky Lantern Festival is one of them. Let's the report on Photos website. We are attracted and fascinated with the news. And then we intend to explore more about this Chinese event. Look at the pictures. That's the first time we've experienced releasing Sky Lantern. Yeah. Our purpose of the project. First, we want to discover the history and culture of Sky Lantern Festival. Second, we want to explore and experience why the festival has become a world famous event. Third, we want to get to know the other main what major festivals or carnivals we should see. For the next part of our project, we are going to introduce several counterparts of Sky Lantern Festival. Such as Mardi Gras in New Orleans, USA. International Balloon Festival in Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. And let's just say Fermi Festival in Spain. Also, Carnival in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And next one is... I know, I know! Our Sky Lantern Festival in Pingxi, Taiwan! Exactly! But why Sky Lantern Festival in Pingxi was selected? Because there are over 1 million people with more than 100,000 lanterns releasing in the skies. Yeah, like us! A lot of people gather in Pingxi. And it was also named one of the 52 things to do in 2013 by CNN Travel. What's more, it's connected with Taiwan Lantern Festivals with various activities. And it was really fun! Yes! Next, the origin of Sky Lanterns. It can be traced back to Three Kingdoms era. As they say, it was invented by a military strategist named Zhu Ge Liang with the courtesy name Kong Ming. So it is also called Kong Ming Lanterns. Because bandits would come to rob the villagers, it was also used to signal safety after bandits left. In our project, we also mentioned several aspects of the culture of flying sky lantern. Yes, it's the important local custom as well as an international event. Aside of sky lanterns are symbols of prayers to God for the blessing. And they also carry people's wishes slowly floating into the night sky. Wow! And that's the process of making a lantern. So you need a wooden stick, oil paper, steel wire, and glue. A side note, different colors have different meanings. Yes, like red symbolizes health and peace. And yellow means abundance and prosperity. After getting to know the culture of Sky Lantern Festival, now we would like to share with you our extra experiences in Pingxi. Pingxi is located in New Taipei City near Keelong. There are three must have experiences in Pingxi. Longjing Sky Lantern. A railway trip along Pingxi Line. Enjoy various tasty foods on Pingxi All Streets. Wow, what a appealing railway line it is! It's from Reifang to Qingtong, one of the top 10 scenic railways in Taiwan. In all streets, we did enjoy all kinds of delicious food. You can even go mountain hiking there, visiting the famous Shifen waterfalls. Finally, it's our conclusion. Well, we are so proud that Sky Lantern Festival was listed as one of the top festivals in the world. We understand the responsibility and significance of preserving our precious heritage and local culture. Furthermore, we also find more about the beauty of Taiwan. We hope that there will be local lights and future towns recognized worldwide and land with our economy as well. Yeah! And that's all for the short introduction to our project. Thank you!